Mal and Anderson has blamed Love Island producers for leaving Mike Thalassitis vulnerable to trolls by turning him into a TV villain. The former contestant, who was on the show in 2016, said Mike became a target for abuse because of the way he was presented on the show. The tragic star was branded Muddy Mike after he seemingly tried to pinch Chris Hughes' girlfriend Olivia Atwood. In a candid new interview, Malin insisted the tragic star was totally different to his TV persona despite being made out to be a baddie on screen. She told S Magazine he was a completely different to his persona on TV. They can make you look like a really bad person. These trolls feed off something the producers have created. Malin went on to reveal she felt totally alone after Love Island and spiraled into drinking too much and partying with a bad crowd. She said she lost herself and got trapped in a vicious cycle. The reality star, 26, claimed support from producers came two months too late as they only offered to pay for her to have therapy after Mike Thalassitis's death. Mal and she went on to beg show bosses to introduce more thorough psychological testing to endure they aren't putting fragile people on TV. She added, the minute you come out, you're on your own. Suddenly you're judged. There's trolling going on. You've got 300,000 followers and it's overwhelming. They need to really do clear psych tests. Thorough psych tests not just hey, are going to kill yourself. Have you ever had suicidal thoughts? Because we're not going to say yes, are we? She went on to reveal she's in talks with the show to become a consultant to help future contestants deal with life after Love Island. Mike was found hanged in a London park last month aged just 26. He had suffered from depression and previously admitted he struggled to deal with vile trolls who attacked him online. Mike told Now TV, I think people take it too seriously in going, oh I'm this vile person, because I'm not. I'm not a nasty person. I admit, I watched it back the other day and I cringed. I did watch it, and of course I could have been more of a gent, at the end of the day I didn't fancy her, and it's a TV show. It seems like everyone is out to get you some of the time, people want to see you slip up constantly. Samaritans, 116-123, operates have 24-hour service available every day of the year. If you prefer to write down how you're feeling, or if you're worried about being overheard on the phone, you can email Samaritans at joe at Samaritans. Org read more showbiz editors' picks.